Hello guys, I'm back again for another uh, tutorial video. As I said previously na um, I'll be completing all the ano, the the items here in the BOQ and then gagawan ko siya ng unit cost analysis bawat isa. So for now, ang gagawa natin is yung item B, yung earthworks which is under that the excavation and backfilling. So first, kakapi natin yung mga details doon sa scope na yon excavation. Or work description is the excavation, quantity and unit. So nakikita nyo, no? yung Microsoft Excel is napaka-importante sa ano natin sa sa profession natin as estimators as engineers architects so maganda siyang pag-aralan para sa ano mo sa sa work and then next is ilalagay natin yung uh, uh, computation para sa resources natin so for the materials hindi natin kailangan ng uh, any kind of material since na yung work natin is the excavation what we will be needing here is the labor and then the equipment sa labor ang kailangan natin is yung laborer why? kasi pagdating sa equipment nandun yung cost ng, uh, ng operator ng heavy equipment so yung laborer ang gagawin niya lang is siya yung um, helper nung uh, nung operator so at dahil 5.4 cubic meter lang yung excavate we will need only uh, one and then for the rate it's uh, 550 and then the productivity nya is uh, uh, 2 hours per cubic meter so, and then for the equipment uh, ilalagay natin kung anong kailangan natin uh, particular na heavy equipment so yung kailangan natin is yung backhoe syempre isa lang and next is pupunta naman tayo dito sa computation dito sa gray area na uh, portion so yung type ng resource natin is rental only, hindi purchase magre-rent lang tayo dito and then yung usage natin is uh, probably kalahating oras kada cubic meter ang monthly rate ng bako for now it's 250,000 And then, yung monthly operator's rate, malaki na ang 25,000. So, nakaderive na tayo ng unit cost ng uh, uh, excavation per cubic meter. So, i-copy lang natin dito yung unit cost na yun. And then, dire-direction na natin. Backfilling na tayo agad. So, backfilling. Cut lang natin to. So, for backfilling, kailangan natin ng lupa. So, uh, backfill per cubic meter, yung, ano, yung ordering. Pwede. And then, unit cost niya is uh, 1,500. 
let's say 1,500 but I'm not sure kung magkano na yung per cubic ngayon ng backfill per cubic meter and then ang factor natin kasi 3 cubic meter uh, probably uh, dadagdagan natin ng 25% kasi yung bibilhin nating uh, lupa is not yet compacted Uh, kumbaga yung term natin sa lupa na binibili yung pang, yung backfill material is a loose volume yung quality niya so uh, dadagdagan natin 1 times 1.25 so 1.25 yung ano yung 1.25 yun yung ano natin yung dinagdag natin na 25% other than the 1 cubic meter so we have 4 cubic all in all and then for the labor uh, for the labor we need a laborer also so binating dalawa and then yung back feeling natin is uh, yung productivity niya is medyo uh, mas ano mas matagal so ang productivity noon 3 man hour per cubic meter and then for uh, the equipment since 3 cubic lang naman siya pwede nang hindi na natin kailangan ng bako what we need here is yung truck yung truck natin let's just uh, uh, input a charging for this kahit na si ano usually si si contractor or si builder ay meron ng sariling ano truck but uh, para sure sa ano sa para hindi tayo malungi sa estimate lagyan na din natin ng costing yun So, yung usage niya, pwede na yan, 0.5 hours, hour per cubic meter. And then, 100,000 monthly yung rate ng mini dump truck. Mini dump. So, yung rate per day niya is 4,000. Uh, 791 and then ang lumabas na cost for the back filling is 5,600 kopihin lang natin 